What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys the Air Jordan 1 Low, oxidized green. Alright guys, I did pick these up a few days ago. I know I'm pretty late on this video, but these did come out on August 28th for a retail price of $140, but you can already find these for $100 and probably gonna go under that in just a few weeks or maybe even a month. But this is the box right here, normal Air Jordan 1 box, black and red. I think over the size 10 on these. This shoe does come in women's sizing, so technically this is a size eight and a half. Air Jordan 1 lows do run kind of big, so make sure you guys stay throughout the whole video for the sizing tips. Open up the top of the box here. We don't get, oh, we actually do. We get a stamp at the top of the inside of the lid right here. And this is the shoe, guys. What do you guys think about it? Is it a cop or a drop for you guys? Let me know in the comment box below. On feet, these look really clean. You can kind of dress these up and dress these down depending on your sense of style. I did get these from Foot Locker, as you guys can see. They do come with an extra set of laces, green right here in the cardboard box. Uh, they have been doing this for a few years now too. Started putting it in the plastic on the side of the shoe. We don't get a white and green stick on the inside of this box. But let's talk about this shoe, guys, man. What do you guys think about it? I have a lot of other reviews coming up for you guys. I said, let me throw this one up. Also have the Air Jordan 3 that came out today that we'll be showing you guys a little bit later on. I'm just trying to catch up on a lot of stuff, guys. Um, looking at the bottom of the shoe though, we get this gum bottom down here with the Nike Swoosh in the middle. We got the midsole here. We get this nice aged out midsole, both the outside and the inside of the shoe with the same color in the stitching. Coming back towards the outside of the shoe here, we get this nice tumbled leather and this material is really, really nice. I've been saying this for the longest time. I feel like they give us some of the best quality on Air Jordan 1 Lowe's. Um, it's just really, really good. The quality, the leather, um, no stitching errors really, no blue stains really. They just really take their time on the shoe when they're in production in my opinion. And I just wish they did this with a whole bunch of other shoes. But looking at the top layer of the shoe on the swoosh, we get that oxidized green, as you guys can see. Same thing on the inside of the shoe here. Like I said just a few seconds ago, I don't see a lot of glue stains. I don't see a lot of stitching errors. The quality on these are really, really good in my opinion. If you guys like an all white shoe with a little pop of green, this is definitely gonna be for you, especially if you love the color green. Looking at the toe box here, these will crease up on you pretty easily. You can put some more shoe shoes in these to stop that from happening. Looking at the mud guard here, we do see some white underneath that we see some oxidized or you know beige off white. Looking at the bottom, at the bottom of the shoe, we see the very detailed stars creeping up from the bottom of the shoe. Once again, we do get two sets of laces in these. I'm gonna keep the white laces on these when I do show you guys the on feet, but they do come with some green laces. All right, we got a white mesh tongue at the top of the tongue here that says Nike Air and white and green. We do get some tissue inserts on these on the inside of the tongue here. It just tells us about the shoe and everything like that. All right, if you guys look at the sock lining on this shoe, these are very comfortable on feet, especially when you guys see the satin on the shoe right here. The materials on this is once again amazing. Looking on the inside of the shoe here, the production dates on this is 12, 19, 23, the 03, 04, 24. Give you guys a quick look at that real fast. Taking out the actual insole on the shoe here, as you guys see, we get this nice green on here. We don't get a sizing sticker on this shoe. It says Nike Air right there in white. All right, we get the cheaper version of the Dream Cell insole, but these are just as good in my opinion, and they do feel really nice on the feet when I did have them on. All right, looking underneath the actual insole here, we get some white stitching green stitching, a thin piece of tape in there, a little bit darker than the other pieces of tape that we normally see on the shoe, just in case you guys are wondering. Coming towards the back of the shoes here, we see the Air Jordan Wings logo right there with the basketball in the middle. All right, it says Air Jordan there in white. In the background of that, we do see it in green. Underneath that, see some white, and then it goes down to that aged out midsole. And that's pretty much gonna do it for this shoe, guys, all right? I'm sure sure you guys my footage in the toe box right now. Okay, guys, so the way like, Okay guys, so this is way like on feet, pretty clean in my opinion. I'm a true size nine, but I'm getting nine and a half in on my shoes. I was only able to get these in a size 10, which is a size 8.5 in women's because this shoe does come in women's sizing. Now I have the insole in on this one, the insole out on this one. So I would say, you know, if you try to go down half a size, it's gonna be kind of snug. Um, it's really depending on your preference though. I would say go to the size on these for sure. Um, you can possibly go up half a size if you like to wear them laced up, but on most Nike Dunk Lows, Air Jordan 1 Lows, Air Force 1s, I try to go true to size because they tend to run a little bit big. Some people half down on the sizing, but I like to go true to size because I like to have a little bit of space. And normally when people go true to size on shoes, I go up half a size. But anyway, uh, I don't have any slippage on this. As you guys can see, show you guys my big toe is. So this is my big toe. I don't have any room for error in this shoe, as you guys can see. 
my foot is all in this material. Um, when it goes down to the pinky toe, I have like a little bit of space right there, but I do feel this pressure on the inside and on the outside of my foot. As you guys see when I'm pushing there, I have no room for error. I have no slippage. Um, when I did take the insole out though, I do have some slippage as you guys can see right here. On this one, I don't have any slippage at all. So if you wanna take the insoles out and go down half a size, you can do that and it should fit pretty fine. In my opinion, but I do have a little bit of slippage as you guys can see if I really try. Um, I like to wear my shoes unlaced. So, you know, if you like to wear them laced up, you probably won't have any slippage if you did take the inside out. If, if you did take the insole out and just wanted to have a little bit of extra space if you felt like the shoe was too snug for you. Um, but that's it for this review, guys. I'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.